Hello folks, my name is Rojo and welcome back to Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. When we last left off, we had uh, just finished up the museum, however I made a little bit of a mistake and uh, I missed a skill book that I went back and, and got as I think I had mentioned that I would. Um, so you're probably seeing a little bit of footage regarding that right now, but aside from that, uh, everything pretty much went the same, I think. Um, yeah, so I, at this point, basically, uh, we're gonna go chat with Pisha real quick, because she's right here, because we do have that, uh, little, uh, little statue to give her. And she should have something quite nice for us in return, actually. And, uh, then after that, we'll go let the prince know what happened. Of course, uh, the sarcophagus was stolen, or otherwise uh, has disappeared, so he's not going to be pleased with that, I would imagine. Okay, the vent just disappeared. That's fine. Didn't need it anyway. Probably more in the way than not. All right. Also, I think we can maybe offer her... I think I'd read somewhere. I don't know if I'd mention it. We can offer her our, uh, our arm? Or not our arm, but our... Uh, this guy right here. I don't know if we have to have it equipped or not. We'll, we'll see if we get the option. That girl you sent to me. I've grown used to masquerading as one of them and seeking something suitably feeble enough to cull from the herd. That's the first time I've had one delivered. Ha ha! Um, let's see. Well, uh... <laughs> here's the item you want from the museum. Yes. This is genuine and of use to me. There is something resonating from it. A whisper. I will give you this in trade. It is known as the Odious Chalice. It swells with spilled blood and offers its bloat to its owner. Uh huh. Well, um... Thanks, I guess. Uh, another question, though, maybe? Yes. Uh, <laughs> we can do it. I brought you a little snack. If it satisfies you, I make an effort to only prey on the weak and worthless, consuming their flesh not out of spite, but out of self-preservation. I wither and rot without it. It is my survival. <laughs> well, we just got a tenor for somebody's arm, so, uh... That's... that's great. Um, we actually don't have any more questions, but I don't want to be rude. Yes. Um, you seem a bit preoccupied with death. I don't know if we asked her about this or not. Let's... let's see. Death is the ultimate dilemma, and integral to the beliefs and behavior of every culture. Life is bore on the corpses of the dead. Without death, there would be no motivation to accomplish anything. The only emotion would be existing. Life would be pestilent and agonizing. That's one way to look at it. Um, well, you eat flesh and study death, I think I'm gonna piece it on out. Uh, just, uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, let's, oh, let's go, uh, let's take the shortcut, though, maybe. If we can, there we go. Yeah, so she's, uh, you know, she's, she's alright, I guess. You know, she's not like a cold-blooded killer or anything. I mean, she seems kind of cold-blooded, but yeah, yeah, you get it. To her, people are, like, so much cattle, etc., etc. Um, alright, well... Let's, uh, let's take a moment to look at the, the shit that we have here. I, I gotta test something, because I'm not sure. I don't have my shenanigans in front of me here. Um, I think I did not spend some points that otherwise uh, I would have normally spent. Now, I think what I want to do... I'm trying to remember how, how I intended to, to min-max this. I think I wanted to put points in security like that. And then what we have here is this... Uh, Skill book. Actually, we might be able to read this now, too, because we have um, that one extra point of scholarship from Beckett. So let's see, yeah. Let's, uh, let's read that. Okay, so we got one point of finance. So yeah, that's going to be our last point of finance, um, which is more than we really need anyway. But uh, either way, it's ours now. And uh, where is this... Uh, where is this book? Thermaturgical... They have ta -ta blah blah blah. Thaumaturgical creatures is not really what I'm looking for. You can also look at our uh, thing that Pisha gave us. If I can. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Where's our book? Where's our Where's our book at? Something Something doesn't seem quite right to me here. I <laughs> excuse me. I had a book. Cash box, driver's license, fancy ring, business card. Um. 
Where the fuck is it? Okay, we're back. Apologies for, uh, for that. I, uh, didn't realize there was a whole extra row of shit on this side of the screen, so my mistake. But here we go. We got Subjects, uh, Guide to Personal Home Security. We should be able to read this and, um, yeah, get our fourth point of, uh, oh, actually, well, let's get our, let's reload and uh, actually spend that point. I think we can get to rank four with this book. Maybe not. Maybe it's only up to rank three, but, uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's do it this way. So we get our security, then we try to read it. Then we have four security. Okay, perfect. That's exactly what we want. Whew, all right, we can move on now. Also, yeah, here's the Odie's Chalice um, that she gave us. Very useful. It's basically like a reusable blood bag um, as we kind of kill enemies. Uh, very, uh, yeah, very handy. I'm sure we will use it several times over the course of the playthrough. Now, where am I going here? Because this is not the right way. We want to actually go and uh, holler at LaCroix now and let him know hey, about the Incarnate Sarcophagus, which is missing. All right, what's up, buddy? Mm. Oh, excuse me, uh, starting to doze off there. Oh, I need to get a guard animal of some sort to alert me when folks come in. Hmm, maybe one of them chimps, like on that show, Ape Detective. <laughs> that, that monkey always gets his man. I'm sure he does. Uh, Lacroix is expecting me. What? Oh, yeah, uh, Mr. Lacroix is expecting you. For a young guy, he, he sure likes to work late. Me, I spent most of my youth in the entertainment industry. Yeah, I guarded the sets for over six top ten TV shows. Hmm, that's uh, that's interesting. We'll talk later, though, buddy. All right, back upstairs we go. He uh, <laughs> oh, so dramatic, this guy. Good lord. All right. The folly of leadership is knowing that no matter what you do, behind your back there's hundreds, certain that their own solution is the sounder one, and that your decision was the byproduct of a whimsical dart toss. I pronounce the blast sentence, and I soak the critical fallout. I make the decisions no one else will. Leadership. I wear the albatross and a bullseye. Oh, but come on, princey man. You're respected by everybody in this city for your leadership. I've had my fill of sycophants. Oh. I need adjutants I can trust. Um, let's see. I haven't met people who speak highly of you. What's this all about? Or everyone respects you now. What's this all about? Um, it's true. I haven't really met anybody who speaks super highly of him. The blood hunt on Nines Rodriguez for the murder of Alistair Grout will be called. Rodriguez's execution is only a matter of time. I have lit the fuse. If a war ignites, it's my head that will sharpen the pikes for. At least I can rest easy in knowing that you, my most promising attendant, has relieved me of one encumbrance tonight. Do you need assistance bringing the sarcophagus up to my office? Well, you think I'm going to fucking carry it myself? Uh, you know, if I had actually gotten it? Uh, yeah, but it's it's been stolen. Stolen? Stolen. Stolen? How? Who would... Oh, Gary. Gary, you treasonous maggot. I should have anticipated your treachery, sewer rat. Uh, Gary? The Nosferatu primogen. The Nosferatu were responsible for finding out where the sarcophagus was taken after the Dane, and for getting keys to the museum. They were the only ones who knew. It's obvious to me now. My mistake. Um... Okay. I want him found. I want him... found. The sarcophagus could be... exploited. Causing who knows what catastrophe to this city. If it were to fall into the wrong hands... Um... <laughs> uh, I mean, I'll find him, man, I guess. The Nosferatu lurk in the filth below the streets of Hollywood, but not even I know just where they hide. Hollywood is, unfortunately, lacking in any Camarilla loyalties. Hollywood's baron is an Anarch named Isaac. Isaac's more civil than the Anarchs downtown, but nonetheless, he wears his mistrust of me on his sleeve. 
He may know how to contact the Nosferatu. Find Gary and get him to talk. That sarcophagus could be used against us. Do not come back until you have it. Now, I must announce the blood hunt and bear the brunt of all consequences. Escort him out. All right, man. I'm not sure the prince is quite as sad as he uh, is uh, making himself appear to be about this blood hunt, but, uh, you know, that's just me. At any rate, in theory, I think, um, what do we want to do here? I mean, I guess we gotta, we want to go to Hollywood, but I'm just trying to think, do we, do we have anything else to even think about here? Um, I think we'll get to this, a lot of this stuff in, uh, <laughs> in Hollywood. Yeah, alright, let's go. Need a ride? Uh-huh. Hollywood, and here we go. All right. Ain't seen you here before, and if I haven't seen you, neither is Isaac. So that's your next stop. Uh, how did you know? Isaac's in the jewelry store at the end of the street. Consider yourself invited. All right, man. Fucking got some muscle on my shit already here, huh? Jeez, you got a minute to breathe, huh? Well, I mean, you know, a vampire, but you get you get the point. <laughs> oh, the asshole. That's fun to say. All right, where are we going? We said it's in the, uh... It's in the, the, the jewelry shop somewhere. I'm not sure if we meant this end of the street or the other. Guess we could maybe look at a map. Oh, I didn't forget. Not entirely. Stolen artifact. That was quick. Uh, is there a map? Maybe... Not here. Hmm. Well, I'm gonna guess it's at the other end of the street, because that's Vesuvius and... Fast buck. A lot of these places we'll actually get the chance to check out, which is pretty cool. A lot of cool places here, actually. Here we go. So we are here, and we are facing, um... Let's see. Number nine is Vesuvius, so we were facing down the street. Uh, we're looking for... Jewelry shop, but there's no jewelry shop on the list. We'll just keep... We'll just walk. There's a lucky star, actually. Ground Zero, we definitely want to go in there. Lots of places that we want to check out here, actually. Quite a lot. Get the theater here. Restaurant. Don't know if we, I don't think we get to go in there. I think this is our spot. Or maybe the back door, though. Yeah, here we go. Let's uh, say hello to Isaac. Nice, nice enough place. Hello, my friend. Good evening, neonate. Isaac Abrams. I've been expecting you. Seems the wooden soldiers of the Camarilla shuffle in a little too often these nights. That baby-faced two-bit Prince LaCroix got something to say to me? Um, hmm. <laughs> oh, man, you tell me one of your goons directed me out here. Very courteous of you to stop by. All kindred that enter my domain are expected to introduce themselves. It may seem like an outdated formality, but it serves its purpose. Uh, all right. Maybe you want to get to the point? It gives me the opportunity to personally welcome visitors to my domain. It also helps to establish an understanding in advance, so that there are no unfortunate accidents while they are in town. Uh, okay, so... Why don't you, uh, clarify our particular brand of understanding? Call me old-fashioned, but this is my barony, and as is tradition, a token of respect must be paid. Okay, you're old-fashioned. Now what do you want? What I want is a simple exchange. Last week I paid for a certain item, a movie, and this evening I got an email saying that the seller is ready to deliver it. Unfortunately, he's become a bit paranoid all of a sudden. Won't meet me in person, won't drop it off, won't even answer his phone. Says he'll send the location of the pickup to a computer in the nearby internet cafe tonight. 
You see where I'm going with this? All right, all right. I'll get your stupid movie. Go to the Ground Zero Internet Cafe. Look for a directory named Joseph K and use the password Kafka. There'll be an email in there that will specify a nearby location. Meet the contact, pick up the item, come back. Not too painful, right? <sighs> all right, man. I'll help you out, but why don't we uh have a chat? There'll be plenty of time for questions later. I'll explain everything when you get back. Well, fuck me then. <laughs> All right. Excellent. In the meantime, consider yourself a welcome guest in my barony. Welcome to Hollywood. Thank you. I guess. Don't think there's anything here for us, really. But we'll come back and we'll certainly chat with him at least a couple more times, I'm, I'm sure. If I'm remembering correctly anyway, which I think I am. Okay. So we want to go to that internet cafe first. That cafe was way back this way. Oh my gosh, Whoa. is that you? Everyone was worried sick about you. When you didn't show up and didn't call and nobody knew anything about what happened to you, we thought you were dead. Are you okay? You know what? Never mind. We have to help you. Uh, who are you? It's me, Samantha. Don't you... Did you suffer amnesia? Is that it? Let me make a call. We'll, we'll get everybody together. We, we can talk. Maybe you'll remember something. The important thing is that they know that you're alive. Uh, I think you must be mistaken. <laughs> I just moved here. Come on. This is serious. I know it's you. Don't you recognize me? It's me. It's Samantha. What happened to you? Uh, oof. Boy, uh, it's just, it's not me. That's all, that's all I can tell you. It is you. I don't think you know what you're saying. We're gonna help you. You'll see, everybody just wants to see you safe and back to your old self. Wait here, I I'm gonna make a call. It's gonna be okay. But, uh... It's gonna be okay. Hmm. I wonder if we could uh, make that go a little bit differently if we had uh, a bit more persuasion. I mean, we got pretty good, pretty good persuasion already. I don't know if I want to really spend those points right now. Uh, we could, maybe a second rank of dominate could do it. Let's see, what's what's our most recent save? Um, I think it's probably been uh, a little bit, but we'll we'll give this a try here, just to see if if this uh, goes a little bit differently. I don't know if it will for us or not. Okay, here we go. We're coming back out of the alley. And anybody? Oh my gosh, is that you? Everyone was worried sick about you. Uh, who are you? It's me. I think you made a mistake. Come on, this is. Uh, lady, listen. I don't know who you are. We can try like a different line of conversation. But your face—you look exactly the same. It's uncanny. I, I can't believe it. Um, I don't know what to tell you. You mind? uh... Stepping out of my way? Yeah. Sorry. Oh, we got a masquerade redemption. <laughs> well, that's nice. That's too bad for her. Um, I still spent the point in dominate. I, I, I thought you could dominate her, but I guess not. Um, to like convince her that uh, you are not who she uh, thinks you are. Which I mean, I mean, obviously we are. Not sure what her relationship is to us specifically. I'm gonna. She looks a little bit strange with the way her head's moving there, but uh, or not moving, I guess. But I'm gonna guess girlfriend, which means we were kind of a shitty boyfriend, because we were definitely fooling around with somebody in the beginning of this game. But, um, possibly, you know, just, uh, could be somebody else, could be an acquaintance, or, or not an acquaintance, but a, a friend or a family member as well. Anyway, uh, let's get ourselves on over to this, uh, this internet cafe. I thought it was down this way. You know what? I don't know if it is. Hang on. Bus stop. Save me. Save me for myself. Wait, no, I think that's it right there. Just walk by it. A little bit distracted. But yeah, actually, that point in Dominate, I intended to spend a little bit more in Dominate eventually anyway, but uh, that's going to give us brain wipes. So all enemies within a small radius will think that we've disappeared. That could actually be useful if we end up in another kind of like stealth section, which I don't know if we will or not. I don't remember exactly. Um, but, you know, there we go. 
So I guess we have to check out all these computers now. Oh shit. It's that game again. I got Arsberg, you must sign in, no porn. I'm gonna creep back here for a moment. I think there might be something in here that is interesting to us. Some camera, security camera. I guess we can't get in there right now. Maybe, maybe a little bit later. I thought there was one thing that was one thing I'm looking for in particular here. It's a light chair. <laughs> Could have sworn there was a book in here somewhere. There it is. Cowboy's Guide to Cyberspace by Case. <laughs> oh, I was gonna also check the bathroom, but I. I guess it's occupado right now. <laughs> but can we even read this? Oh, that's right. I forgot to read my um, finance book, too. Read that. Um, now, where's our other book? Eight Research. Oh, geez. Yeah, we're a little uh, little ill-prepared for for that, I'm afraid. Um, yeah, what's our research right now? Research, research, research. Six. We need more in, more scholarship. Um... Someday, we'll get that point of scholarship. Int, I'm a little bit less excited about, but we'll uh, we'll see. We'll see. For now, let's um, go ahead and log on to these computers and see what we can find out, shall we? Email. Hitomi, hello. Hi, I'm Ayako. Let's English practice. Your homestay, how it is. America must be so coolest. <laughs> you are in Hollywood. Are you in a movie? Uh, present Kenta and I ate Okonomiyaki of Yokohama. Uh, that extremeness was tasty. What is eaten in America? Does they eat the Japanese food? I must investigate. Uh, our Americans have long legs. <laughs> are you Native American boy? It is the image sent? It is happy. <laughs> Uh, this, this weekend I go to the hot spring where my family has been attached. I'm excited very, uh, when we are the child is Yuki, which is the friend to us remembered. Uh, she is also inquire about the thing in America. Is the pleasant time past? Send many images due to me. <laughs> uh, good times, good times. That was worth reading. <laughs> Okay. Um, one of these is theoretically actually labeled. I want to say it's maybe one of these computers. But, um, or at least I, from my memory, I'm thinking it's one of those computers that we want. But we'll, we'll, we'll check them all. Email. Kafka! Nope, that's not right. Nope, it's not this one. Shizzle. All right, man. Dude, my Prussians totally <laughs> rushed your Franks last night in Eurocraft. <laughs> Playing night, also, that girl that sits next to me in science talked to me today. She totally wants me to do her. Obviously. Uh, no, dude, your mom. Your mom. Psych. <laughs> your mom. Uh, what are you doing to me, Tupacula? I said, cover me, not die like a little bitch. One more food bar and you're out of the clan. Games must be taken seriously at all times, you guys. Very important part of the culture. <laughs> um, I think there's only the two computers here that are left, so. Um, yeah, there's Joseph K. Email. Kafka! Uh, I think. Here we go. Get me in the back alley behind the fast buck, which is where we are right now. Wait, wait, actually, no, we're close to it, I think. Um, and a virus. Okay. Apps. Uh, dear. Next is denied your account of balance, 56 cents. Aw, oh, sadness. Well, noob camper. <laughs> uh, it's a legitimate strategy. All right, uh, A to F. What is all this shit? Um, lucky action star, the syndicated TV detective show, Beef Bartlow. Uh, now serves up sandwiches named after his character in Jeremy's famous deli nearby Beverly Hills. Oh, okay. This is uh, a list of famous people, I guess. Mori Safi. Nope. 
Former dancer at the local Vesuvius Club, Safi is one of the few active adult film stars who, who also occasionally appears in mainstream media, known to drop in from time to time at the club where she made her name. Flingo. Rap superstar and entrepreneur best known for his platinum albums I-69 Blingo and uh, Weed Metaphor. Blingo owns several sweatshops in the area that uh, turn out urban wear for his clothing line all up on ya. <laughs> Captain Bananas. Oh, I didn't get that. Captain Bananas. Known as the Olivier of Chimp uh, actors, uh, Captain Bananas began, began his career as Trent Hiller's sidekick in the C.I. Ape film series. Now stars in the popular TV drama Ape Detective, part owner in the Hollywood hotspot fling. Of course he is. But uh, Chuck was telling us about that guy. Uh, by the way, we're going to close out the episode after we're done reading these. So uh, uh, feel free to ditch, you know, if you don't really give a shit about any of this. But you never know what we're going to find. For example, Golden Gary here. Gorgeous Gary Golden was the star of such 30s classics as Tap Hotel and Singing Honeymooners. He later became a popular dramatic character actor in films such as Skies of Nevada. Shortly after his last film in 1960, Golden disappeared and was legally declared dead in 1965. Well, we know what happened. Sort of. Amalia. Amalia. Model famous for her racy covers and high lifestyle, Amalia claimed residence in Hollywood for several years. Tragically, her career was cut short in its prime. Uh, her car was found wrecked at the base of the Hollywood Hills. Remains burned beyond recognition. Jerk ass Johnny. I think I know who this is referencing. Johnny Jerkass, uh, host of popular prank show Psych, films most of his show on the streets of Hollywood. Famous pranks filled, uh, filmed on this very street uh, where the wife hit by bus, uh, the stripper is really a dude, and that's not really beer. Gross. Cross Natalia. Superstar of the late 50s to late 60s, known for her class and natural beauty. In 68, Cross was brutally murdered at her house in the Hollywood Hills. She's buried in the Hollywood Forever Cemetery. There is a cemetery in this area that we can check out at some point. Not sure when we'll do it exactly. All right, Zed Lungfish. The Lungfish, infamous for his onstage debauchery uh, during his concerts, owns and operates the crematorium here in Hollywood. That's interesting. Nivbed. If you want to spot uh, this artist, try West Hollywood, but approach with caution. He's easily provoked to dangerous levels of sass. Open Heimer. Yas. Uh, producer of such films as Guy Fox Day, Explosion Every 60 Seconds, and Boston Harbor. Gets his hair, uh, gets his hair done, did at uh, the local salon Jump Cuts. Has been spotted by music at local record stores Savvy Ballads. Um, Volta Chem. Uh, removed from the database at request of the Church of so Solicitology. <laughs> uh, Rivers Ash. For his breakout performance in the film Negative Zero, Rivers garnered huge critical and commercial success in three more films before a shockingly, uh, shocking early retirement. Rivers spends most of his time these days managing his club, The Ass Pole, found right here in the heart of Hollywood. All right, last group. Sammy Frankie, the name. Wisecracking star of the 70s TV show What's the Word? Sammy has... Uh, Sammy was found bludgeoned to death, the local lucky star, two years after his popular show was canceled. Ooh. Sessions Tawny. Ubermodel Tawny Sessions has an apartment right here in Hollywood and can often be found window shopping in Beverly Hills. Swan Ginger. Swam. Uh, nah, it's not Swam. Swan, nah. Uh, <laughs> a name synonymous with beauty and glamour. To this day, was a great celebrity of the late 40s and early 50s. Her credits included movies such as Gilded Hummingbirds and When No Means Yes. Okay. <laughs> After her passing in 54, she was interred in Hollywood Forever Cemetery Mausoleum. And Tang Margar Margaret. The most in demand voice director in town, Margaret is known for coaxing brilliant performances and sometimes tears out of her actors. She is currently working in the Hollywood uh, in Hollywood on several A-list titles, including the animated adventures 
of foul, uh, of foul mouth, the friggin' chicken, and Frankenstein bread lust. Okay. Whew. Lots of reading there, but uh, yeah, that'll do it for this episode. When we come back, we will go find uh, ourselves that movie and probably bring it back to Isaac and then figure out what to do next. Maybe the cemetery. Might, uh, yeah, we'll see. We might meet some of these people that we've, uh, we've just read about as well, which would be interesting. But anyway, until next time, my name has been Rojo, and thanks for watching.